Heather here. Um, if you are following me at all on TikTok, you may have seen that I made this little Maribel inspired gown and we went out and we did a bunch of photos um, down by the river. Today I'm going to start editing them and this is one of the photos that I've kind of done some editing on in Lightroom and I'll just show you this was it imported then I brought the exposure up a little brought the shadows up and the highlights down and then the exposure up just a little bit more so it went from here to here now I'm just going to right click on the image make sure I've only got the one photo clicked and I'm going to say edit in and Adobe Photoshop. All right, so now I have it up in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using my actions, which is the complete painterly collection. You can get this from my stand store, um, which is just in the link, the website link on the top of my page. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to go to paint on light. So it's down here in the artistry paint brushes and I'm going to click paint on light and hit play. With these actions, you do have to flatten after every action you do use because otherwise some of the actions may not work properly. All right, so it brings up this layer here and you basically just take, take your paintbrush um, like a soft normal brush and I'm going to paint it on her only um, at a hundred percent it's just gonna brighten her up while leaving the background um, while leaving the background dark I will bring my brush down a little and just kind of paint, get, get my brush larger. So I brought the opacity down and I'm just gonna kind of paint around her so it blends nicely. All right, so I will flatten that. Like I said, you have to flatten after every action you use. Um, and then the next thing I will do is my frequency separation with sharpen and hit play. Continue. It'll bring up the instructions of how to use it here. And so for the first layer, it's the blur layer and we wanna just get our lasso tool and zoom in. And I'm just gonna take selections of her skin and I'm gonna go filter, blur, oh, not box blur, cancel. Filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And we're gonna put this up to seven and hit okay. And we'll just do that again. Once you've already done Gaussian blur, you can hit Control Alt F and it will repeat the last um, filter that you used. Again, I hit Control Alt F there, and I'm just gonna do this all over her skin um, until I'm done. So if you haven't seen my TikTok page, I suggest that you go check it out because I do have a lot of really fun projects that I'm working on. Like I said, I sewed this entire Maribel costume myself, and I kind of went through the step-by-step -step of how I did that on my TikTok page. The last video I posted as well um, was of the big robot that we did, and that's based on an emoji project I'm doing on TikTok as well. So lots of really fun stuff happening over on my TikTok. Oh, 
Okay, so now that I've got the blur done, I'm gonna do the paint on um, Brighten Skin. And what I do is I have this on the mode on normal, sorry, the mode on lighten on my paintbrush, and I take the opacity down to 10%. And all I'm going to do is select a brighter part of her skin and I'm just going to paint it under her eyes at 10% there just to brighten up those shadows under her eyes. And you can also brighten them in other spots as well. So if you wanted to brighten up the top of her nose, maybe the T-zone could brighten that up as well. If there's any odd shadows or anything on other parts, you can lighten it up this way as well. But everything else is looking pretty good. On the gray, you're just going to take either your patch tool or your um, quick healing spot healing tool and just get rid of any scratches, any blemishes, anything like that. From her skin. Any, you know, if you work if you work with babies, like maybe there's like milk stains or something, I use this to clean up those milk stains around their mouth as well. Scratches. <laughs> Alright, everything else looks good. And then the last one is the sharpen. And so you have to just change your brush mode back to normal. And I usually start this at 100% and then if I need to, I turn the opacity on the layer down. So I'm just going to sharpen up her eyes, her nostrils, and her lips. And any other small details like earrings, jewelry, things like that, you can use those as well. So let's just check that. Might be a little strong, so I'm just going to bring that down to 30% on the layer. Okay. So I'll zoom back into her face and it'll show us the before and after on that. So that is before and after very subtle natural look that's how I prefer it all right so I'm actually gonna make a quick copy of this layer by dragging it to the plus sign and I'm gonna actually go up to filter and liquefy and I'm just gonna liquefy the dress to be a little poofier and maybe her hair as well um, so just bring out and I have the um, pressure at 40 um, I like to bring the pressure of the brush down so it's not um, too strong. You can also enhance any curls this way, which I'm trying to do. <laughs> the brush won't let me. Okay, enhance those curls there. and kind of bring out those little fluffies in the sleeves and kind of enhance the skirt here as well. Okay, that looks good, so I'll hit okay on that. That is before and after. All right, 
So we'll flatten that. Let's see what the bright and airy one looks like on this image. I'm going to bring that down maybe just to 10%. Alright, so I'm going to start with her skin now. Light, creamy skin for her. And close that up. So what I like to do with this one is just brush it over um, like where the highlights would be on the skin. So that T-zone. Um, there's a nice highlight here along her neck that I'm just going to bring out maybe bring out those on her shoulders okay um let's do the eyeliner and I like to just brush this over um, the lashes just to enhance those eyelashes because sometimes they can get lost. Or washed out sometimes too. Okay, I will bring that down um, a little bit though to about 50%. Okay, and then I'll play the blush. Okay, make my brush large. I like to do the whole cheek um, with little kids. So we'll do the whole cheek and we'll just bring that opacity down. Maybe just to 20%. And then we'll do lipstick. You can also change the color of many of these um, actions as well by just opening the folder here and then you have the color palette. Double click on that. Um, so if you wanted to do more of a pink you can just easily change that. I like the lips to be red though, so I'm just gonna cancel. Okay, and just make sure I got the painting done. And then I will bring the opacity down just a little as well. Okay, and then we will brighten her catch lights in her eyes. Alright, so before I move on, I'm just going to work on the background a little bit. So what I like to do is go to my, I like to go down to my creative tone adjustments and I'm going to do the pastel tone with this one and just see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to bring the opacity of that down and I'm kind of just watching how it it affects the background here. Okay, actually, I'm just going to change the opacity to about 40%. I do like the warmth in there on her, so I'm going to keep it and flatten that. And then we will go back to my actions. And I'm gonna go to 
the color adjustments here. So I'm going to pop the greens and just see what that does with the green. I do like the cooler tone in the greens, so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit here. Maybe I'll put it down to 50. Let me just take a photo here. I just want to see the difference from the original green color. So that's the original green. Yeah, I definitely like that better. All right. Flatten that. I'm going to go with the hazy background blur. And this one, it wants you to actually choose a color. And I'm going to choose the kind of a lighter green color. And just kind of paint that over. And just see what that looks like. Might be a little too green. <laughs> we'll definitely turn this down. <laughs> but I kind of like it. I'm going to lower my brush and I'm going to actually paint some of that off around her. Okay, and I'm just going to lower the opacity down. Yeah, I think 50% is good. Maybe we'll bring it down just a little bit more actually. And I think what I want to do is again just paint some of it off around her again. Just blending it in. Okay. Looks good. Kind of dreamy looking. And we'll flatten that. And now I will go into the artistic dodge. And all I'm going to do with the artistic dodge brush is paint on the highlights or kind of enhance the highlights. So I have it on highlights up here, range highlights, exposure 5%. And I just like to kind of Paint over all the little highlights in their hair and in their face. All right, so now I'm going to flatten this one and then I'm going to play the artistic burn brush. And this time we have the burn brush on and the range is on shadows and exposure again is at 5%. And this time we're going to go through all of the shadowed parts and just bring things out. I like to run this over the eyebrows as well to bring those back in because especially with my kids the blonde eyebrows kind of disappear in photos sometimes okay so now that I've got the dodge and burn done on her what I'm going to do next is bring in some butterflies that I found on Adobe stock and we're going to add those into this one as well. 
So I found these butterflies on Adobe Stock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a few of them and bring them in. I think divide would be the better one for this. Okay, so here's what we'll do. So I'll actually, um, instead of using a solid color layer, I'm going to actually make a hue and saturation layer and clip that down. So I just right clicked and then put um, make create clipping mask. Okay. So now I just want to change the tone of this. I'm going to try to change it to be like a bright yellow. We're kind of trying to make it the golden color. So let's see. So I'm just going to change the size of it all right so I'm gonna just do that with a few more So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a layer over top of this butterfly layer, this one here, and I'm going to take a paintbrush. Now you can find tons of paintbrushes um, on a website that I call that I get my brushes from is called Brush Easy, and you can find all sorts of brushes there. I'm going to use. Um, like I have some smoke brushes, which I think is what I want to use. We'll have a look at those. Um, smoke, here they are, smoke brushes. Now there's kind of like these wispy ones that I am going to use for this. I'm going to use these ones here. So I'm going to go into my brush palette here and this one I'm going to turn the opposite direction and I'm going to take my, I'm going to have it at 100% for now and I'm going to select, so if I hit alt I'm going to select the color, it's going to be that um, same yellow as the butterflies and I'm just going to change the direction of this a little bit yeah okay 
So I'm just going to make some of these um, little wispy smoke lines for the butterflies. And I'm going to want this in the same direction as the last one. So it's kind of like that. And make it a little smaller. And this time I'm going to hit, um, select more of the lighter, um, brighter color. I think I want this turned up. And I'm going to actually put this layer on um, linear dodge. Kind of brighten them up a little. Actually, I kind of want the yellow. I definitely want the bright yellow. So I think maybe linear color. See what any of these ones do. Linear light, maybe. I think I'm going to go with the linear color. Okay. And I'm just going to do that with the rest of the butterflies as well. Maybe creating kind of like a circular pattern around her. So that might mean I need to actually um, flip this one butterfly here. So image, sorry, edit, transform, flip horizontal. There we go. All right. And another thing that you can do on these color layers is you could liquefy them as well if you want it to be in a different pattern or you could go filter um, puppet warp and you could warp it to be how you want it. So I actually might warp it a little bit. So just going to put some pinpoints and just warp them a little. Let me enter there. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do that again. So I don't like how square this bottom is. So I'm gonna just put a pin there and there. And I'm just gonna put a couple pins here. And, and just pull that corner down. So it's not so square. <laughs> I actually might put a um, layer mask on there and get my normal brush and just paint some of these away. And I'm going to lower the opacity a little to about 50. And I'm just going to soften the edge here, lower it a little more to about 20, and soften that again. Okay. That looks good. There we go. Alright, so 
so I'm gonna put all of these in a group and call these butterflies. And I'm gonna put one more layer on there underneath the butterflies. And I'm just gonna take like a soft round brush, basically what I've got here. And I'm going to put this layer on uh, maybe the overlay. And just kind of take that kind of yellowy warm color and paint it on underneath these butterflies to create a bit of a glow around them. Okay. And then I'm also going to paint a few of the wisps brighter as well. Kind of create that glow. Alright, so then we'll just paint, say this is butterfly glow. I'm going to make another paintbrush or paint layer and call this color glow and put this on overlay as well. And again, I'm just going to select that color and we're going to paint some of the, the color on her because if these were a bright yellow, they would be casting some, some color cast on her, on her skirt and I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little. I think we're gonna put this to 10. Oops. The opacity on the brush down to 10 as well. I'm just going to turn the opacity up a little more to 20 and make my brush a little smaller and in the parts where it's closest to her, I'm just going to paint it on even brighter. it would be on her this way. I might cast a little of the glow on her face. Just a little. Alright, so I decided to just go ahead and flatten everything 
um, because I do want to use a couple more of my actions and I can't do that when the there's layers in the actions won't play properly so the next action I want to play is I want to do the paint on light again where is that one paint on light here we go um, just because I do want her a little brighter again to continue so it's just saying to paint with a soft um, round brush at 100%. So we'll turn that up. Again, I might just paint on the butterflies a little just to kind of brighten those up a little bit more again. And definitely want to brighten up her face. And we'll just turn the opacity down a little and paint around her a bit more. Okay, and we'll fill that in there. And then I want to play my uh, painterly vignette. And at 100%, I'm just going to paint around the edge. And you can always turn the opacity down. Which I will turn it down a little bit, so about 30%. And I'm just going to take my a really soft brush and go in a little closer to her with a, a very light brush just to kind of give it a little more depth okay and then I might play one of my um, mats so Let's go with the hazy mat. And I'm just going to turn this down to about 15% there. Kind of gives it a very painted feel. And yeah, I think I like it at 15%. And then I'm going to go to back up to the artisan oil paint finish up here. And with this one, you want to paint, um, this is the paint effect, it goes over basically the whole thing, just softening everything up, kind of giving it a very painted look. And I'm going to just paint this off her eyes with a black brush at 100%. And just her face, facial features. Because I don't want to soften those things. And then you can also take the sharpen brush and just sharpen um, certain details. Oh, except you need it to be on the white brush. And I just realized I kind of want to... Um, um, put a bit of that yellow color in her eyes as well. So I'm just sharpening the some of the dress details. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just make a paint layer. I've already got that color. We're going to put this on 
overlay and I'm just going to zoom in to her eye and see how it kind of looks it's got like a purple color to it I'm going to make that a gold color instead and we can always turn the um, opacity on that down but we definitely want there to be some gold in her eye just because the butterfly would be giving off that color yeah that looks pretty we'll flatten that and then the last thing I always like to do is sharpen. So sharpen for print and then add light noise as well. So let's just see how this sharpened up. I love that. Okay, and then we will add light noise because we want to blend all of the work we've done and just kind of make it look um, finished. But I'm going to turn this down to about 30% instead of 50. I'm actually going to make one more paint layer, taking that color again, changing the paint layer to overlay. And just realize that some of this color would be casting onto the rocks and things underneath. So I'm just going to take a brush at maybe just like 10%. And just brush that lightly on some of this grass. Um, underneath this butterfly here and kind of a little on these stones down here and we can always turn the opacity on this down a bit too if it needs it <laughs> I'm going to actually put a oops Put a mask on there and just brush it off these rocks that I added it to because it wouldn't really be touching those ones and maybe just lower the opacity on here and just lighten up some of this down here okay to me, this looks like a finished product, a finished image. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Um, we were kind of going along this together and learning together <laughs> on some of these parts, but we got through it and I'm really, really happy with the final image. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you wanna see more like it, just subscribe to my channel. And again, I'm doing lots of really fun stuff over on my TikTok. You will find the link at the top of the page. If you want to use these actions and you don't already have them yourself, again, you can get those from my stand store. And right now they are 50% off to get those. So again, just give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.